So I sat there, stooped in my slumber, dreaming up groundbreaking innovations that swirled around in my mind like a cotillion, staffed by the musings of Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton, Nikola Tesla, and their ilk. All of a sudden, a mission presents itself. High society has called on me to pay my fiscal dues and prove myself worthy of its enterprise. <laughs> sure, I'll give him a hand and earn him a hundred bucks. Piece of cake. <laughs> to whom much is given, much will be required. I had to come up with an ingenious solution to make this $100 by the end of the week. And I happened to be scrolling on TikTok, then boom, the answer popped right in front of my face. A live stream of a guy threatening to pop the biggest balloon I had ever seen. Pop the balloon! And then, not ever doing it. Pop it now! What's going on here? Pop, Why were people pop, watching, pop, liking, and even pop. paying money to see this guy not pop this balloon? Was it a human's need for chaos, destruction, and disorder? Or the cathartic return of the universe to a lower energy state? Who knows? But I'm hooked. Something about forcing precarious situations into their not so precarious aftermaths draws attention and money. So I began to brainstorm. How could we use technology to multiply this effect? Where have I seen such precarious situations before? Hmm. Tom and Jerry, scissors, strings, eggs, perfect. We can make a contraption that uses scissors to drop a bunch of eggs on somebody as it receives gifts from TikTok Live. Well, I guess we know where we need to get started. First, we'll start off with designing a CAD model that will house the servo and the breadboard that's holding all of our electronics. We'll also design a platform above it that will hold the scissors in place. It'll also include a tensionable bracket that we can use to attach to this mic stand that we had laying around the studio. The way the system is gonna work is by using an app called Tickfinity to plug into TikTok Live and listen to the GIFs. It'll call a local endpoint on our device every single time a GIF is sent. And using a serial connection, we will send over the value of the gift from the computer to the Arduino, which is controlling the servo that moves the scissors. The script running on the Arduino listens for the value of the gift incoming from the serial port and will add it to a current bank balance. Every time the bank balance changes, the servo will update its position. Basically, when the scissors are open, the bank balance is zero, and once they're closed, they're equal to the max bank balance, which in our case, we set to be 30,000 TikTok coins which is equivalent to about $150. The Arduino is powered by the USB connected to the laptop, and the servo motor is powered by a desktop power supply tuned in at six volts and connected to a breadboard via alligator clips. A little precarious. In order to add suspense, we figured the scissors should have to cut through more than just one string. Obviously, only one of these strings will be loaded. We thought about creating some rafter hanger device for the egg plate, but we decided to just punch holes straight into the plate and tie strings directly to the rafters. In addition to this, it wasn't really up to us how many eggs we got to put on the plate, since if we didn't fill up the whole plate with eggs, the plate would not be balanced. We laid a tarp on the floor for easy cleanup, and we were ready for the MVP. Night one commences. Wow. 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 These eggs are full of pesticides! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I built this! Now I'm suffering the consequences. And drops all those eggs right on that meaty face. Hey. Oh. Oh. These scissors have a mind of their own. They just sent 65 roses. <laughs> Thank you guys! Oh. Oh. I'm gonna get stronger, but I'm going to be blind. <laughs> and they're- oh. Oh. Yeah, I've got some really serious anxiety. I'm about to wet my pants. Dear Crystal! Oh, oh here-, oh. here we go. Oh. Let's do this! We're giving you what you guys want! Keep going! Get- get ready! Get ready! Get ready! I told you! Viewers spent $32 on our first TikTok live stream, which, after TikTok gets its 50% cut, we got about 16 bucks from our first experiment. Not great, but this was our first attempt. The execution definitely had a lot of hiccups. First and foremost, my scissors from the junk drawer just happened to not be sharp enough to cut through the yarn. 
Who would have guessed? To solve this little dilemma, we used some of the money we just earned to buy a new pair of scissors. Another problem arose from the fact that I added a bleed function into the scissors. Every second, the bank on the scissors would bleed about 10 cents. I thought this would have helped keep the ball rolling so that people would chain donations together in order to keep the scissors closing. However, we couldn't get enough donations fast enough to close the scissors and therefore had to artificially dope the donations via the Tickfinity app to make the scissors close more than they naturally would based on the donations we actually got from TikTok viewers. Basically, the TikTok viewers got a really good show for really cheap. In fact, there was an error somewhere in the code that was forcing the scissors to shoot open once they had closed all the way. This was a huge problem because we had to spend most of the stream resetting the Arduino by pressing the manual reset button. I scoured through the code and I couldn't find what was the problem anywhere, but there were still other problems that needed tending to and a lot of other improvements that we could make by just making small adjustments. First, we could add some additional stimuli to the game. What do I mean by that? Well, we could just screw a Nerf Blaster to a plate and add a servo that fires every $5 we receive during the TikTok stream. On top of that, we can attach an LED strip to the side of the Nerf Blaster showing how close it is to shooting. I ran to the pharmacy and picked up the cheapest Nerf Blaster they had. We're gonna use a similar bank balance method with the Arduino that controls the server that fires the Nerf gun. The difference is, the servos won't update its position every change in bank balance, but the LED lights will. And once the bank balance has reached its maximum value of 500 TikTok coins, the code will call a fire command that rotates the servo a couple degrees to pull the trigger, firing the Nerf Blaster. Then it'll set the bank balance back to zero. I even added a little animation to the LED strip once the bank balance reached its maximum value. Unfortunately, with such a cheap blaster, we'll have to manually reload it every time it fires. No matter, we've got bigger fish to fry. Particularly, we have another glaring issue from night one. The main attraction happened to not be that attractive. To solve this problem, we brought in a small exotic woman to play my part as the egg droppy instead. Save me, mommy! I know what you're thinking. There's no way you're gonna find someone more attractive than you to play the egg droppy. I was thinking the same thing, but let's let the TikTok viewers decide. In addition to that, we added more visual cues to the scene by writing the rules of the game on a whiteboard. For example, the game would immediately end if someone donated a lion, a $300 gift, a your suite would automatically launch the dart, and the love drop would open the scissors back up. We thought these additions would make the game a little bit more dynamic. Night two. <laughs> They're non-GMO eggs. Okay. But they're rotten eggs, just oh, so you guys... Oh, that's the first one. Oh, they're sending the roses. It's getting closer for this to drop on me. Two roses. That's... Watch out. Here we go. Here we go. Technical difficulties on the God save my life. The lion drops the scissors immediately. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. The first... <laughs> load it back up, load it back up. Every donation moves the scissors just a little bit more. You guys send a donation. Here. Oh, the scissors. Okay, I don't know if you saw that, but the scissors just closed. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Now, we're checking. What the heck? Save me! Yay! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yo, thank you. So close. Oh, 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 to getting close eggs to fall under. Oh, 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 Matthew. Thank you guys so for the galaxies. Oh, wait, cut it. It did technical difficulties, but we're gonna do it manually. He's he's getting the scissors. Get ready. Hold three, two, one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh, she's covered in eggs. Night two provided us with some valuable information. First and foremost, changing the contestants seemed to allow us to earn five times the value of donations that we did the previous go around, totaling in $155 spent, which amounts to $77 profit after TikTok takes its cut. Getting close to our goal here. But this no, night highlighted no. a problem that was still haunting us. Something in the code was forcing the scissors to stay stuck open and causing us to have to reset the Arduino and dope the scissors with fake donations to get them back to their original position. I spent the entire next day combing through the code to find out what the problem was. The problem was actually two pronged. Number one, Tigfinity was calling our endpoint asynchronously. 
and thus was trying to communicate with the Arduino asynchronously as well, causing the serial connection between the computer and the Arduino to break down because the serial connection was attempting to send and receive commands at the same time. Basically, the serial connection requires us to process these commands synchronously so that it has time to receive the data from the computer and send back that it had completed the request. I hadn't realized this would have been a problem, but for smaller gifts like TikTok roses, people can send them in quick succession, wrecking the system. This was an easy solution. I just would add every Tickfinity request to a queue and process the queue synchronously on a separate thread. However, there was still a problem that had yet to be identified. After receiving 30,000 coins, max bank balance, I wanted the scissors to do a chopping motion to ensure all the strings would be cut. But for some reason, after the scissors received the maximum donation balance, they would be stuck in the open position. I thought I had ensured that from the start, I was only using longs for my numbers, as not to face any integer overflow errors. Using an Arduino, the max value of an integer is somewhere around 32,000, which is hovering right around where our 30,000 token goal is. So we were passing in a long that had a value greater than 32,000, and it was automatically being transformed into a negative number, <laughs> making the servo think the bank had a negative balance. Changing that one parameter from an integer to a long cleared all the problems with the code up. The problems of night two, however, did not stop at code. For instance, during the first 10 minutes of the live, the power going to the servos was unknowingly disconnected. Hey, the technical difficulties oh, on the gadget. God here. saved my life. Luckily, no one was watching for the first 10 minutes of the live stream and it was more of a warm up. Either way, that's not an acceptable mistake to have happen. We decided to move all of our electronics off of the breadboards and onto permanent prototyping boards to mitigate the risk of wires slipping loose. Another problem solved. Speaking of loose wires, the desktop power supply that was powering the servos and lights through the alligator clips needed to go. So we used some of our funds to order a new barrel jack power supply. We also 3D printed a housing for all the electronics to limit as many loose hanging wires as possible. Another problem from night two was cleanup. The eggs were everywhere. The fact that the scissors sat directly atop the mic stand caused a huge problem. You had to put the eggs directly next to the mic stand. So when they fell, they exploded all over whatever the mic stand was sitting on. So we took some of the funds to the hardware store and bought some PVC pipes and elbows to make an arm that put the scissors farther away from the mic stand. Since we could move the mic stand farther away from the eggs now, we decided to get a kiddie pool as well. My gut feeling from night two was that we were leaving a lot of money on the table for making it that the one rule that automatically close the scissors is a $300 gift. Donators are a super minority in the TikTok live with only around 50 out of 10,000 viewers actually donate. So the odds that we would get one person who would be willing to donate a $300 gift are probably astronomical. But people seemed a lot more willing to spend galaxies, which are $10 gifts. So we scrapped the $300 gift rule and changed it so that the scissors would close after 20 galaxies. The theory is that giving a visual crowdsourcing goal would help make donating an easier pill to swallow. In the spirit of the new 20 galaxy goal, we whipped up a little local React website that kept track of how many galaxies had been donated thus far. That way, viewers would be able to see how many galaxies were needed in order to close the scissors for good. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, dude, I need you to pay your rent in full. Um, hey, uh, didn't I already uh, pay you the 900? You paid me the 900, but it's a thousand bucks. You still owe me a hundred dollars. You need to either pay me the hundred dollars or come work at the soup kitchen tonight and. We'll clean the sleep. How's that sound? Yeah, hey, like you don't have to worry about me. I've got I've got money in my bank. It's just it's not, no, it's something weird with like Apple Pay. You know how it goes. It, I don't know how it goes. Well, it, listen, you might as well write a check for that hundred bucks because you'll have it by tomorrow night, so you don't need to worry. I wish I could believe you, but for the last three months this has been going on. So if I don't have that hundred dollars by tomorrow night, I'm just gonna have to evict you. Please, I swear, I'm gonna be life with my family. I will get you this hundred dollars. Please do not, please, 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 please don't kick listen, me out. Please, you can't kick me out of need. Just give me the hundred dollars by tomorrow night, and we're good to go. How's that sound? Okay, okay, thank I you. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for taking thank me. Thank you. God bless you. Have a good night. Oh, hey. We got a big night tomorrow night. We're gonna kill it. Thank you 
for the paper crane. Thank you guys. Oh, we the first launcher. The first launcher's in. <laughs> Don't listen to her. So we're at six galaxies, and the Nerf gun is already loaded up because of that. Eggs are really expensive. Thank you for the gifts, guys. Thank you for the hard. <laughs> the next shooter. <laughs> Thank you. gotta have omelets. Oh, no. Oh, Here we go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, we're at eight galaxies. We're getting closer. It is not pre-recorded. Look. Yeah, see? Hello. Thank you for the galaxy DNR zone. Keep tapping those lights, guys. Thank you. 200K light. Oh, we got the nerf blaster. <laughs> we're doing this on a bigger scale. So we need you. Is she okay with doing that? Not up to her. Oh, whoa. Flying jets. Thank you so much for the flying. Oh, eggs are moving. <laughs> Thank you for the galaxy, guys. She is so happy to have these eggs on her, right? I don't like eggs. She doesn't like eggs. It's okay. Thank you for another galaxy, guys. We're gonna... We're... <laughs> oh, the, the second string was just cut. We're more than halfway, probably, just because... Oh, another donut shade. Thank you, Bob Joe. Thank you so much for the hand heart. We cut those last. <laughs> we are almost at a million likes. We're an amazing... Oh, thank you for the galaxy. We're gonna get these eggs. Oh, 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 oh the blaster. Oh, oh. Oh, be careful. You might prematurely drop the eggs. Thank you, Bobby, for the roses. It loaded again. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Chris. Uh oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. My bad. Almost got the eggs to fall on her. Right. Got another. It loaded up. It loaded up. Thank you for the roses. Thank you guys for the fruits. Thank you. It's pinching her. It's. Oh, I'm sorry. These strings. Thank you for the galaxy. Oh, oh no. Oh, <laughs> one string left, guys. Oh, no, another galaxy. No, 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 they're not hard-boiled. I just bought them for Publix. Oh, someone just donated a galaxy. Thank you so much for the galaxy. Technical difficulties. We're about to get these eggs to fall on her. Wait, just wait. Now, we got 6K people. We're at 1.6 million likes. That's it, that's it. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Robert, I know you're in there. I can hear the ruckus. Oh, no. Oh, no. Open the door. <laughs> Holy smokes. They just spent $257.30? <laughs> that means we made over 125 bucks. Like We're rich. We're rich. We're rich. We're rich. Hey, 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 what are you doing here so late? And I was gonna ask you the same question. Oh. Rent, dude, like, now. Oh, yeah, yeah, hey, oh, no. Oh, yeah. No problem, yeah, yeah. The hundred bucks, dude. Um, sure, sure, no problem, hey. Do you want it, uh, do you want it now, or? You know, I could put, I, 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 no, I could put it on, like, we could put it on, like, a parlay or something, and we could double it real quick. No parlay, relay, delay, I need it right now. Okay. Cash out. Oh, oh, yeah, no problem. Um, and... Here you um, go. Got it. Listen, man, I appreciate it, but I can't chase you around every single month. I hey, wait, hey, listen, I heard some good news. What's that? A little birdie told me that rent might be being paid early next month. Have a nice night. You as well. Uh-uh.